see how good nutrition can help with the cow's milk production. Hello, ladies. Hi, Tony. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. You are future experts on Shamba Shape Up. Yes. It looks like that. Yeah. I've asked Samuel Ngumo from CKL Africa to help us. I'm sure the girls will enjoy some extra milk after all their hard work. Hi, Sami, how are you? Fine. Yes, yes. Sami, yes. our students here are concerned about their milk production. Yes. What would you advise? The first thing that we had to handle in these cows is their, their hygiene. Hygiene is part of management. And manage, management plays 80% role uh, to the well-being of a cow to production. 20% is genetics. Good management includes hygiene and nutrition. To increase milk production, we first have to improve the cow's hygiene. The first thing I noticed was, was that there's a small heap of dung in the cow shed. How does the accumulation of dung interfere with the well-being of the animals? So the presence of bacteria in, a cow, in the cow shed means that the probability for disease is higher. So we all know about mastitis and the other diseases. The cow dung on a daily basis should be cleaned out of the cow shed and put at a further place so that it's able to dry and uh, so that can be used for the farm. What else have you observed? We need to do a cleaning of the water troughs because I noticed there is algae growing inside the, the water troughs. And the presence of algae in the water makes the taste of the water foul. So the cows find it not favorable for them to take. It means the milk production also will go low, will go down. Uh -huh. The other thing I noticed is that there are protruding nails and wires in the cow sheds. What is the effect of protruding nails in the cow shed? Injury. Injury to the animals. Uh -huh. The next thing I observed is the sleeping area for the cows. One is damp and it's full of potholes. And um, what's the importance of maintaining hygiene in the sleeping area of the cows? The sleeping area of the cows is where the, the cow spends most of its time. Having a dirty sleeping area means the interaction between the cow and bacteria will be higher. There is a lot to be done, so let's get to work. First, we need to remove the cow dung. This should be done on a daily basis. The dung should be placed far from the cow shed. After breaking down, it can be used as manure for the crops. Next, the nails and all sharp objects should be removed. The floor needs to be leveled out. And then, sawdust placed in the sleeping areas. The drinking troughs should be clean. and the drains should be cleared so that the water runs away easily. For generally disinfecting, mix 50 milliliters of cooperside in 20 liters of water. Well, we're almost there. The cow shed is all cleaned up and it looks amazing. What else do we need to do to boost milk production? Uh, now that we are done with the hygiene part of management, now we go to nutrition. The first thing I want to talk about today is the fodder that you use for your animals. One, do not give the, the stemmy part of the fodder. I want us to be giving our animals the leafy part of the, of the fodder. What is the importance of fodder? So it provides roughage, and most of the minerals actually are found in the fodder. When the animal is done eating each day, they're supposed to remove the food from the, the trough. This will prevent water from accumulating at the bottom of the trough. Because what I noticed is that there is some moldy grass that remains at the bottom. This is very risky because of aflatoxin. It's also very risky because of the false smell. So the animals have no urge to to eat the fodder. So uh, everything comes down to low milk production. The other important thing, uh, and this should not be left out, is the giving of concentrates. Yes. What are concentrates? Concentrates are, are feed that have been already processed for better utilization by the animal. And compounded together, there's one product called dairy meal, which is very good for animals that give milk. Apart from the dairy meal that is available in the agrovets, we have a product called Copacula. Copacula is a protein supplement. It's very essential and very important for animals 
that are producing milk. It improves the quality of milk because of the protein. It improves the body condition of the animal. So how do we give them concentrate? The Copacola is given 200 grams per day mm -hmm. per animal. And this you increase in, with the increase of production. You only stop when the production stops. Okay. The other thing which is very important is mineral salts. And um, what's the importance of mineral salts? One, good production is what we are aiming at. You'll have your animal conceiving at the right time and coming on heat at the right time. So what mineral salts are we talking about here? Now, we have a mineral salt called Maclic Super. It has the, the elements essential for milk production. One of them is calcium and phosphorus. So each animal is recommended to, to get 200 grams per day. But if we are all able, the best way to do is to give it a libitum, to put a trough aside for the animal to lick the salt at free will. It's also very important to put a salt block to assist the animal in supplementing of the salt. And if you do all that you've said, what are the expected results? Now, the expected results is that we will move from 27 liters of milk in the two cows that we are milking. Keeping with the hygiene and good nutrition, they will get there. In fact, a good breed of cow can give you over 20 liters if managed well and fed with quality feed and supplements. What I loved about them is the way they wanted to increase the milk production and as the DH prefect, it made me happy because the tea will be increased.